born in '66, and one of my first memories was seeing uh, man walk on the moon, and that was a that was a big catalyst to where I wanted to go. Malcolm Sharp always fancied himself as a high flyer. Yeah, so at 16, I started. 17, I had a private license. 18, commercial license. 23, had my own air operator certificate. At just 23 years of age, Malcolm started his very own airline in Hamilton, about 300 clicks west of Melbourne. He got himself two local business partners and leased an office and a single engine aircraft. I had all the ambition that I wanted in a partner to go ahead with an aviation business. He had the drive and I went along for the ride and I've been hanging on ever since. Peter Sobey was a butcher and after running his own business for 20 years was ready for a change. Malcolm started the business off basically with a 30 year old aircraft, four seater that we brought up at Marucci Door. We had no money in the bank, second hand computer, fax machine that I think I borrowed from the butcher shop, so we had nothing to lose. In 18 years, Sharp Aviation has soared to a fleet of 10 aircraft, providing competitive air services throughout Victoria's southwest. As well as scheduled commercial and charter services, Sharp also has its own airline cadet training school. It was about quality, really. We couldn't find enough good pilots to fly for Sharp Aviation, so we decided that we'd start to train our own. What time of the day do we think that the weather's going to start to uh, affect the Trove Valley? The flying's a hands-on thing. I don't think it's much harder to fly a plane than it is to pull up at an intersection and, and take off again in a car. But the skills that they need now to be a well-rounded pilot go far beyond manipulating controls. We're very big on that customer skill and I think probably having an ex-butcher as a partner is probably a pretty good, uh, pretty good mix because uh, there's no one better with the gift of the gab to teach them, I don't think. The cadet training has proved to be a perfect fit with the commercial business, but an outside view helped provide a clear vision for the future of the business. We had a uh, generic diagnostic review done, uh, which the Victorian government gave us a small contribution towards, and that was instrumental in the early 90s in someone coming in and analysing our business and saying this is what you're doing right and this is what you're doing wrong, and that particular consultant very quickly narrowed it down to what we should be doing and what we shouldn't be doing. With the mix of charter flights, airline flights and the fact that we train our cadets, you get a homemade product and there's nothing better than you get your homemade product and you can put that into your business. That homemade product is proving to be a big asset for the region. Well, the people are telling us just how easy it was to get to Hamilton. They can get a plane out of Essendon and be here in uh, you know, under an hour and that's just a wonderful service. They can do a full day's business. Tim Neeson from the Southern Grampian Shire Council keeps Sharp Airlines up to speed with what's happening in the area and helps fast track any expansion plans, all as part of the council's ongoing support for local business. We're helping them with the uh, refurbishment of the terminal. We've uh, done some work inside, and we've got landscaping to be done outside, and we're working again with Sharp Airlines to uh, develop their training facility. If we obviously can provide people with a, a 30 or 35 minute link into Melbourne, um, you know, gee, some people drive a lot further up the South Eastern Freeway to get to work than 35 minutes. And that's wonderful. We hear people calling to see us looking to start with, we didn't know we could fly to Hamilton, yeah. let alone it was so quick, so it's a wonderful service you're giving us. The airline cadet training brings students from all over the country. The courses are fully booked a year in advance. And your training operation, you're developing that arm again, that's all going well? It is. Look, we've committed to spending a million dollars in the next 12 months on upgrading our training, and that's the acquisition of two new Cessna aircraft and building a new training facility. So that's where you know, Southern Grant Mishire wants to work with you and help you, you know, expedite that as best we can. Decide on the product you want to sell and develop it fully. Create a business plan and don't be afraid to get outside help. Source, mentor, develop and keep good staff. Develop good relationships with your customers and suppliers and keep them happy. We came to a crossroad in our business. The Piper Chieftain had been an absolute, oh, I suppose, critical part of our business. But it, it, Bread and butter? Yeah, and yep. it got to the stage where we had to do something different. And uh, we moved into the 19-seater. It was a $2 million investment that's taken Sharp Airlines to another level. We've doubled our passenger capacity too, so I mean we moved from 10,000 to we'll carry 20,000 passengers this calendar year. So it's been a big expansion. The expansion has been a well calculated success as a result of being in touch with changes in the local market. The trend away from farming towards bigger industry has brought abundant business opportunities. Look, I've lived here for 54 years. We've got undulating hills, red gums to Grampians out there, occasionally I have to go to Portland and I have to put up with the coast and the sea. 
We've got a lovely, quiet environment here to train young pilots in. You know, we've got great educational facilities, great hospital, we've got a great deep sea port and we've got great engineering infrastructure down in Portland as well and really I mean everything's here. We often say the best part about Melbourne is seeing it in your rear vision mirror. So, uh, but we don't have one in the plane so. <laughs> For more great clips on how to make your business a success, go to yourbusinesssuccess.com.